In this video, you'll learn how to do these really cool lens flare transitions. Gone are the days of spending your hard earned money on overpriced overlays. You can do this all for free inside of Premiere Pro. So let's jump in. So I've got my timeline open and I've got my two pieces of footage, a guy playing chess against a robot and another shot from a different angle. What you'll do is you come down here and click on new item and go to color matte. And you can just say, okay, and let's just make it white for now. And you're gonna drag that over the area where you want your video to transition. I'm gonna zoom right Right in as far as I can go and what you want to do is you want to cut it up into five frames and we can delete the rest so what we have is five little blocks and then what we want to do is drag that over the place where we transition our video then go to the first one and what you're going to do is you're kind of going to come up to the fix control panel over here and click on this little pen over there that allows you to make a mask I'm just going to zoom out so you can see exactly what I'm doing what you're going to do is you're going to basically create a sort of blobby light looking shape this is where you can get creative this is where there are endless possibilities this is where you can have as much fun as you want try not to make it straight don't do straight lines make them nice and curvy and you can do a good chunk so we're going to bend uh, our pen tool like this and make a big blob and make sure that you give lots of space on the outside loop it around like that so what we have now is a big white blob on our image and i know what you're saying you're saying sean that is not a lens flare transition i know it's not what we have to do now is play around with this mask that we created click on that layer come over to mask and click on mask path and you can drag this feather and drag it all the way up to a nice high number something like 750. what we're going to do is we need to change the color because we don't want a white light we want something that's warm so i'll just double click Click on my color map and choose a color here that's warm that's okay and all of a sudden you get something that starts to look like a lens flare transition except we need to change and play with our blending modes one that i found works really well is screen what i do like to do is duplicate this so i'll hold alt click and drag and on this top one what i'll do is i'll change the blending mode to color dodge and then what i'll do is i'll take the mask path and i'll move it around so some of it is sticking into the image we want to get some random colors so let's see if I click this top one and turn it off so that's all that it's doing and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the next frame and you're gonna do the same thing if you want to be lazy you can go to your first one control C on your mask then come to the second one click opacity and paste that mask back in and then what you can do is click on your mask path and move this baby around and don't forget to change your blending mode so you see it's set to normal I like to play around with a few of these but screen seems to obviously work the best it represents seems to represent light in the best way but linear dodge also seem to work really well so play around with them swap between screen lighten and linear dodge but i'm going to use screen in this instance so this one's going to move across cover that one and then this one because we still have control c i can click on it Capacity and paste that mask in on this one this is where the transition actually happens we want to make sure that this mask is nice and big covers most of the screen so I'll just drag this out make a little bit of an indent here so it's not covering the screen as one big block like this but what I will do here is I will duplicate this one and we want to make sure that this one is the brightest so at the point of your transition where the video changes from the one to the other you want to make sure that you got the most amount of light to hide the transition between the one video going into the next so on the second one I'm going to click on this mask path and I'm just going to scale it up and make it uh, nice and big and what I'll do is I'll change my blending mode to color dodge no not color dodge screen screen works a bit better see you can play around with this as much as you want we can rotate our mask and get something that works and then I'll just go through and do the same thing on the last two this time I want the light ray the lens flare to be moving across the screen and getting off the screen and then all you need to do is just scan through it and make sure it looks good play around with some of the blocks maybe this one is too big or too small you can scale it up or down maybe I want it a bit bigger change the positioning change your mask you can always add different colors so that you do have some blues maybe in the background in this gap you want a streak of blue coming through you do exactly the same process just change your color mat to blue and in the end you'll have a transition that looks like this let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you are looking for some digital assets that are paid for, that you can use in your projects, that'll take your videos to the next level, I recommend a program called Envato Elements. I've made a whole video about it. And if you're interested, you can check that video out over there.